in the name of Allah, the Rahman, and the Rahim. Dear students and viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome you all in today's video lecture. In this lecture, we are trying to learn summary writing skills that how we can write a summary of a passage. As we have studied pressure writing, so likewise, there is another skill which is summary writing. An effective summary condenses a passage into a much shorter form communicating only the essential facts of the passage, of the original passage, okay? It means that in effective essay, we are just writing the essential elements which are presented or which are given in the original text by the writer. So, summarizing is not the same as paraphrasing. However, when we, we summarize something, we are not merely translating these like words, uh, like we are not searching uh, synonyms for all words. Rather, we are uh, like uh, working, reworking the text into a condensed form for later reference. Dear students, it means that we are not translating, like we are not bringing uh, synonyms for all words which are given by the writer in the original text. Rather, we are reworking, okay, uh, to present something, to summarize the, the main idea of the text in very, like, in very few words. Effective summarizing is necessary to both research and writing. This is the importance of, uh, like, advantages of summary writing. Summary writing is necessary for what? For research and for writing, for general writing. And like in research work, we are summarizing the other works and we are also writing the summary of a passage of a original text of a, like a, we can say of a poem, even, even of a book, we are also writing a summary. Of a chapter in a book we are writing a summary because it can save a lot of time and paperwork and it will also allow you to review your research uh, like very quickly yes dear students it's very uh, it becomes very natural if we are like uh, uh, translating if we are summarizing something if we are for example considering consider uh, like if we are uh, summarizing a chapter of a book so in our own words so it becomes very easy for us to memorize to recall and to present or to make a other uh, like uh, understandable writing a good summary demonstrates that shows that okay that we are clearly understanding a text like, for example, if we are writing a, a summary of a passage of a text, so it means that we have developed enough idea uh, of the text. And then we are going to write a summary of that very text for our readers in order to make them clear, in order to communicate, the, uh, communicate to them in very clear words. Now, how to write a summary? It's very important. Yes. So, uh, a summary is very difficult and it, it is very like tricky because it requires skills. We have to put uh, like uh, too much or too little details of the text, of the original text while writing a summary. But we have some of the steps through these steps, we can write an effective and informative essay. The first step, dear students, that is divide. It means that, firstly, if you are looking at the text, if you are like uh, starting reading of the text, firstly, skim the text. You know, skimming and scanning. We have discussed. First, you should skim the text you are going to summarize and divide it into sections. For example, there are many sections in the text, so you should divide in the section. Section first, second, third, or one, two, three, okay? Focus on headings and subheadings. 
in the text like like we are uh, similarly we are doing in skimming of the text so you should take help from the technique of reading uh, that is skimming skim the text okay according to uh, like sections according to the important ideas that contains uh, like uh, of the t in the text so also look at any bold face terms and make sure you understand them before you read like for example sometimes a writer is highlighting uh, something or li a writer is like giving colored uh, words so these words are called uh, bold face terms are bold faced words so you should firstly like clarify the meaning of those terms and words in order to uh, write an effective essay then comes dear students second step read like reading is required firstly you have divided the, the text into different sections and uh, different like parts now reading is required the second step now that you have prepared go ahead and read the section read straight through at this point you don't need to stop to look up anything that gives you trouble just get a feel for the author's tone style and main idea it means that dear students don't confuse yourself while reading a, a passage for writing a summary of that very passage so just go just give, give like give look to the uh, reading just read the text okay just uh, like familiarize yourself with the writer uh, writers a turn uh, with the writer's style of writing uh, okay just look at these things and go uh, like go ahead okay and go on now reread another step reread you have read the text you have selected the text you have like made different sections in the text and then you you have read the text and reread the text rereading is important reading Rereading should be active reading. Yes, it should shouldn't be passive reading. It should be active reading. Okay, you should involve yourself. You should involve your mental faculty, your eyes as well as your mind. Like your eyes, while reading for summary, your eyes will not uh, uh, will not be enough. Okay, you should uh, include. You should focus. You should like uh, bring your mind as well underline topic sentences in key facts we know that what are the uh, topic sentence how to like evaluate how to uh, like uh, uh, circle uh, the topic sentence so underline the topic sentences in key facts label areas that you want to refer to as you write your summary also label areas that should be avoided because the details uh, though they may be interesting are too specific identify areas that you do not understand and try to clarify the purpose like uh, avoid the uh, the the extra details okay just uh, stick to the the important details while writing a summary it is really important that you identify the main points that the author is making to support the or overall main idea of the article or text usually you will not include things like statistics and examples in a summary so avoid including these details like examples are not important to include in the summary are statistics numbers are not important to include in the summary because we are looking for just the 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 main idea and for the shorter details if you are still unclear on what you are reading and what you what is the main idea of the text you need 
to include your summary or reread again like third reading is required if you are not clear about the summary about the text uh, meanings or main idea so reread because through rereading it it will be uh, much easier for you to write a summary of the text dear students another step step number 4 one sentence at a time you should focus on one sentence like sentence by sentence reading you should now have a firm grasp on the text you will be summarizing in step number like from step number 1 to 3 you divided the pieces the piece into into sections and located the author's main idea it and points it means that now you are able okay uh, to write the the main idea or you have developed uh the the main idea that what is the main idea of the text so now write down the main idea of each section in well developed sentences make sure that uh you include in your sentences uh key details and not minor details okay you should include in your sentences the major details not the minor details the important ideas not the unimportant ideas okay uh, not the examples not the like uh, statistics or anything else like for example from first from step number first to step number 3 we we will be involved we will be busy in writing but now after that we are writing firstly we are reading and now we are like writing the summary well developed sentences are not necessarily long but they are complete until the reader clearly what the what the idea is here you need to be using your own words as much as possible and not copying from the original text you should use your own words like it's important to write the summary of the text in your own words because we expect that our readers uh they are expecting you that you are understanding the original text that's why you have provided the summary of the text dear students another step step number 5 write a thesis statement very important Uh, like you should know what what's meant by the thesis statement big me main idea that says what the whole summary is about thesis statement means big idea big main idea that says what the whole summary is this is the key to any well written summary review the sentences you wrote in step number 4 from them you should be able to create a thesis statement in a sentence that clearly communicates what the entire text was trying to achieve in this sentence you should write what you think the overall idea of the article or text is what is the author like what is the author trying to make a point about if you find that you are not able to do this step then you should go back and make sure your sentences actually addressed key elements now dear students after the thesis statement we have uh, an, another step that is step number 6 ready to write okay you should write now like another step for example we have uh, uh, at this point your first draft is like you have done your first draft and now you should start writing uh, the 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 sentence the summary of the text you should uh, provide appropriate transi transition words such as then uh, such as then like we have transitional words transitional devices dear students i hope 
you are understanding these things and uh, you should like focus on these points dear students write in the present tense if whenever you are writing a summary write in the present tense okay make sure to include the author and the title of the work the author name like the title of the work be concise and precise a summary should not be equal in length to the original text remember dear students it should be the the much shorter form of the original text if you must use the words of the author cite them cite right like 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 the author is saying this and this put them into uh, like uh, quotation marks in what it commas in include a reference in brackets like surname of the author date article in which it was published okay like for example we have uh, clearance in 2014 Now this is called reference. Okay, don't put your own opinions, ideas, or interpretation into the summary. Yes, you are not required to put your own ideas, your own understanding, your own like. Uh, no, what is there in the text? You should write. You should pin down the whole summary, the whole story. Okay, check for accuracy. Now you have written. You should check the accuracy. like the 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 correctness rectify if there is uh, something wrong if there are mistakes reread your summary and make certain that you have accurately represented the author's ideas in key points make sure that you have correctly cited anything uh, directly quoted from the text also check to make sure that your text does not contain your own commentary on the piece uh the last step dear students revise once you have like uh, uh, written you should revise you should look for the accuracy if there is something wrong if there is like grammatical mistakes uh you should rectify if there is like a uh, problem in communic uh, Uh, punctuation marks commas if you have time give your summary to someone else yes it's another like proof reading is required okay proof reading dear students is the essential reading it's not like extra reading proof reading uh, whenever you are writing something like you are texting to someone uh, whatsapp or on whatsapp or uh, an other like uh, uh, social media tools you should like uh, give the proof reading to your writing it's important sometimes we are making big mistakes uh, in hurry we are not writing like uh, we are not reading rereading we are not reading like uh, clearly so that's why we are having problems so if you have time you should ask someone for uh like uh, reading of your summary this person should be able to understand the main text based on your summary uh alone dear students if you have any question you can ask in comments uh please uh, you are welcome to ask question uh thanks for watching assalamu alaikum i'll give you an activity for your home task